Mad Sick Reggaeville. Kim say Reggae Summer 2013. My name is Munshi. This is Reggaeville. And this lady brought sweet music to Jamaica in the 70s. 70s, she topped the charts several times. This is Lorna Bennett. I have the pleasure to have her with me. How are you feeling today, Miss Bennett? I'm very happy to see my son achieving his goal. Um, you know, it has been a long journey for him and to see it culminating in this sort of um, experience for him, it's really a joy. Yes. Wonderful. Um, but not your, only your son makes music, you also have, as I said, a very successful musical career to look back on. Mm -hmm. um, you started making music at a very young age and can you tell me how was it like when you started p playing music, making music with the Beer Essential Band and stuff? Yeah, well, I was in high school at the time, and some um, students from UTEC at the time wanted to put a band together, and they approached me, um, and so it was something that I'd always wanted to do. I was a shy person, so um, each time I tried to set up an audition with somebody to get my musical career going, I would kind of back out. <laughs> but being in a, a young group like that, I mean, it was, and my sister came with me as well, so both of us were singing in the band. So, okay. um, yeah, it, 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 it was a pretty exciting time for me, because I really knew that I wanted to do that. Yeah. Yes. And then you were discovered by Geoffrey Chung, actually, a person who also produced great musicians like Marcia Griffith, the Heptones. How was it meeting him and, and working with such a great producer? Well, yes, he was an amazing producer. He heard me singing um, and invited me to the studio. So he's the one that really gave me the opportunity to have a recording career because singing with the band was totally different than having a recording career. And um, he, was, he was a really magical sort of producer. And when I brought Breakfast in Bed to him, which right. was a Dusty Springfield version, <laughs> he's the one that did the reggae version. And it just, it just went to number one and stayed there yeah. like for six weeks. So it was, it was a very fast progression, you know, because it was like the second song that I put out. Yeah. And it reached the number one. And it was not even number one in Jamaica. It was number one in the U.S., in the U.K., all over the place. Yes, How was it for you being so young and having such an X amount of success all of a sudden? Well, um, I mean, I took it in my stride because for me it was like a hobby. Because you have to remember now I was at school and then I went on to university because I knew I wanted a career in law as well. So um, it was really like a hobby. So I was really just enjoying it. I didn't think much of it. I didn't, I mean, when people used to, you know, I mean, make uh, much to do about it, I, I used to just kind of brush it off because okay. it was really, you know, it was really not something that I thought would have happened. But uh, as much as I knew I wanted to do music, I never knew that I would really have such a success yeah. in it. Yeah. Right. And you mentioned it already, you followed the career with the law degree at university. What um, had you actually decided to go for that profession and then kind of stop with the music? Um, well, not really. I knew from a very early age that I wanted to do two things. I wanted to sing. I also wanted to be a lawyer. Okay. Um, and so I was lucky to have had both. Um, <laughs> and I moved on. OJ, OJ likes to say that he gave up um, a university for music. I guess I did the opposite. I, I gave up music for, for university, so, yeah. But you still did not give it up completely because as far as I'm concerned, you finally came back to the stage a couple of years ago and then at least performed again. So how was that like? Yeah, I mean, it was um, something that I'd always wanted to do. And um, I got the opportunity to do so early, maybe about 2005 and I really enjoyed doing it. Then I decided that I'd do an, a, another album. I, I used to think of it as my last hurrah. But then up came OJ and he wanted to do um, music as a profession. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be best to shelve everything that I had since I had law anyway. Yeah. He wanted music as his sole career. Yeah. So I put everything, put all my energies behind him and, and, and forgot about my career as a, as a singer. Mm -hmm. And that's what actually made you come here like tonight because you're touring, touring with your son. You, said, you mentioned it already, but how was it for you the past two months being on the road with him, seeing him perform over here, watching the band playing together with him? Yeah, well, it, it, it was a, spe a special decision made by me because he indicated that he wanted me to see it 
to see it for myself. Didn't want me to just be seeing it on, on YouTube or somewhere else. He wanted me to experience it. Um, so I thought if it's even the, the once in a lifetime um, thing that I would do, it would be to travel this journey with him and to share it with him because it seemed important to him for me to do that. And I am very glad that I came. <laughs> um, you know, I may never do it again, but I really, really enjoyed seeing him perform in fact, there was one or two times when I really got very teary-eyed because I thought how hard he had worked over the years to achieve this and I knew how important it was for him and to see him really realizing his dream, it was just amazing for me, amazing experience. Yes. I'm glad to hear that, wonderful. Um, OJ is your son. You also have a daughter and she's also a very creative person. She works as a um, director. So would you say art has always been in any way part of your family life or something that you want to endorse with the children? Well, I have never tried to push any of them into any direction. I am there to support whatever decisions that they make and I've never encouraged them to do any particular career. I just knew that whatever they decided to do, that I would be behind them 100%. Leanne is also now becoming a lawyer. She has one more year. Um, and I never really encouraged her to, to do law. Never encouraged OJ to do music. <laughs> he chose music, she chose law, and she's also, yes, she has a BSc in filmmaking. She's very artistic. Yes. And I really tried to encourage her. Um, well, I thought that's what she was gonna do until she told me she had applied to law school. So okay. what can I tell you? <laughs> but yes, I mean, I think parents should um, encourage children, no matter, if, even if it's um, not the normal route, everybody can be lawyers or doctors. And um, if, if you're interested in the arts, then you should be encouraged to be the best in whatever it is that you want to do. Each profession is a noble profession. It matters not <laughs> what it is. Right, right. Yes. Um, you are mentioned in, in several of OJ's songs and one that I think that people um, know the best is um, my mommy said from the first day that she held my head sh um, I was going to be dread. So was it actually like that? Um, I knew that whatever he did in life that he would, be, he would give it 100% and that he would excel in it. I just know that he could be anything that he wanted to be. So yes, I knew that he was going to make um, a great impact and contribution in whatever field he um, decided to follow. Oh, okay. wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. So um, just return to your musical career still because I figure what people really would like to know now is can they maybe at some point in the future expect a record from you again? Um, you know, being on this tour, it has come up one or two times. So it appears as if I've had two interests so far. So yeah, maybe I never rule anything out. <laughs> and I'm supposed to do something with my son too. So, oh, uh, yeah. okay. so I mean, eventually, I suppose, I mean, the bug will always bite. So it just, <laughs> it's just a matter of how you respond to it. But yes. yeah, uh, you may, you may hear something from me very soon. Oh. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you so much for taking the time to give me this interview. Now you're soon going to leave Europe. I wish you safe travels. Thank you, Ms. Bennett. All the best. Thank you very much, Munchi. It's been a pleasure, okay? <laughs> it has been my pleasure. Okay, bye-bye. Mad, sick, reggaeville.